What's going on guys, Eddie at Fliptronics. I'm going to be going over how to add the Coinbase widget on iOS 14. Okay, so Coinbase is one of my favorite places for trading and investing in cryptocurrency. I've been using it for, you know, probably six or seven years. I think I've lost track. Um, and they have a widget on here. It's pretty cool. I wanted to pull it up and, uh, you know, how, show you how to add third-party widgets in general. So whenever you want to add a third-party widget, you need to go to Customize Edit. Then there's going to be a bottom option here where you need to add add you know any available widgets now you can see i just added coinbase when you do that you click done and then uh you're basically good to go it should show up as an option in your widgets now <clears throat> you know as far as uh financial widgets coinbase and Robinhood are two of the best ones that you can use right now but let's take a look at coinbase so you've got a few different size options i think there's like five or six so you've got like the little mini one medium size you got the jumbo size right there and then you've got some news widgets so there are a few different widgets. Um, we'll go with the uh, the medium size one. is pretty nice. So it's going to pull up some different cryptos. And then when you you know click on the widget, it's just going to pull up your account overall. And it looks like right now I've got like twenty nine k in Coinbase. I was down to like twenty six earlier this week, so things are starting to look up again. I'm going to switch this out. We're going to check out one more uh, different size on here. Kind of like that jumbo size right there. The jumbo size is cool. It just pulls up like a bunch of different cryptocurrencies. And then like once again, if you click on it, you know, it'll pull up your, your account. So the other uh, widget that I absolutely love is Robinhood. So, you know, I've basically been adding both Coinbase and Robinhood now on, you know, all of, uh, you know, my iOS devices because I'm always trying to stay on top of my accounts. Um, pretty cool though, right? And like I said, you just click on it, it'll pull up your account, and uh, you're basically good to go. Really hoping crypto starts to move up, though, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I actually had, I think, 35000 in my account, um, and it dropped all the way to twenty six in the last, you know, 30 days. Now we're back up to, like, twenty nine k. so it's been pretty crazy. But that's how crypto is, you know what I'm saying? Okay, so I wanted to actually talk about two other really cool widgets for just kind of like customizing, uh, you know, your home screen on iOS 14. So I'm going to pull those up here. The first one's going to be uh, widget smith and then color widgets. Yeah, it's just kind of crazy though looking at, you know, uh, when crypto starts to go up, it really starts to go up. And then when it goes down, it really starts to go down. You just got to like be confident about it. Even just looking at uh, XLM, which is a coin that I've thought about buying actually recently. Just haven't done it. Okay, let's take a look at those two widgets I was just talking about. So um, Widget Smith and uh, Color Widgets. These are just two really cool widgets to kind of like customize your home screen a little bit. They're both free for download. So I'm going to add uh, Widget Smith first. Um, it just kind of pulls up the calendar for you. You can actually change the colors on that one. And then Color Widgets is another good one I would recommend checking out. So it's going to pull up, uh, you know, your battery, the day, the date, et cetera, the time. And then if you want to customize these, you can click on them, customize them. I really like the the red widget, you know, for uh, color widget that I think is pretty sweet. And that's it, guys. Um, I'm going to obviously put more videos out on widgets because, you know, there's going to be a lot more third party ones coming out in both the uh, short and long term here. But Coinbase, I would definitely recommend adding it if you're already using it. If you're not using Coinbase, I'll actually throw some uh, resource links in both the description and comments of this video. Definitely recommend it for all iOS users. All right, guys, thanks for watching it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't, and we'll see you in the next one.